Recently, we've all been hearing more and more about leveraging automation for our self-storage properties. I've been transitioning some of my own third-party managed properties over to this automated model, and I would love to share with you what made these sites a successful automated self-storage business. What I've learned and implemented has become the premise for my new guide, Three Mile Storage Presents, Three Steps to Self-Storage Automation, and I want to send you access for only $1. Any self-storage owner can dramatically increase the value of their business by following this training. We're going to talk about live remote managers, contactless rentals, maintenance management, marketing, property management, and how to connect it all together. Plus, you'll also get some amazing bonuses for free. Bonus number one, interviews with owners and operators using this automated model. Bonus number two, a free analysis of the online attention your self-storage business is getting, because we all know attention equals rentals. Bonus number three, free DaVinci Lock. Bonus number four, digital copy of the Three Mile Storage book. And bonus number five, a free 30 minute one on one implementation call. So go to 3mileautomation.com today to unlock mind blowing value with automated self storage. And as another bonus for those that take action today, you'll also be invited to join me and Open Tech Alliance on a one-day self-storage automation masterclass. You don't want to miss it. Again, go to 3mileautomation.com. Hi everyone, this is Jim Ross of the Self Storage Show and 3 Mile Storage. I'm continuing the series where I'm talking with owners, operators about the unmanned uh, automated model. Today I got Leonard with me. I'm not gonna try the last name. You can, you can fill that in for me if you want, but uh, thanks so much for joining me. How you doing? I'm doing fine. Um, how are you, Jim? Good, good. So right off the bat, you got to tell us where, where are you zooming in from? Where are you at? I'm from, uh, from Belgium um, and I uh, got your contact details and I thought it would be great to chat about the unmanned model. So that's why I'm here at this moment. Oh, this is great. We, we got, we're bringing it international. I love it. This is, <laughs> this is fantastic. So yeah, if you don't mind, uh, if you can kind of give us just a little bit of a background on yourself, and then you have an actual presentation. So this would be awesome. We'll get into it. So take it away. Yeah, maybe to start with uh, with a number. I'm 24 years old. I started with self-storage um, two years ago um, with developing the unmanned model. Um, I graduated university uh, in 2018 studying social and economic sciences. Um, I've been interested in in entrepreneurship for all my life and especially in uh, real estate development uh, because uh, my father uh, his day-to-day -day job is uh, real estate development and that's how we got into into self-storage um, after uh, I graduated so uh, that's a little bit uh, how I how I get into the, the sector which I'm really uh, yeah enjoying at this moment. Good, good. This is awesome, man. Keep it going. Yeah. Um, maybe I can talk a little bit about what Storo is uh, in Belgium uh, and, and where are we uh, at the moment. Um, so uh, we did the first unmanned uh, self-storage facility in Belgium. Um, at this moment, we have two facilities um, with 560 units. Um, we try to, to freshen up a little bit the branding of a self-storage. So we made very um, clear, lighted um, and nice buildings um, to really attract uh, customers and, and making them aware of the use of self-storage uh, and why it's, yeah, to, in Belgium, there is something like self-storage is like, uh, yeah, you see uh, storage wars. That's the first thing that that comes up. Uh, if I if I talk about someone who doesn't know it, the only thing they mostly can say is, "Yeah, I know Storage Wars on Discovery <laughs> Channel." Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, we, 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 well, same here too. Quite frankly, we get a lot of that. So that that's that's cast a wide shadow that show. So that, those hey, by the way, I like love those doors. I like the stripes like that. That looks really slick. Yeah, it's uh, from a from a Belgium uh, firm uh, constructing self storage. I'm really happy with it. Uh, it's it's nice and clean. So and with the LED lights, it's uh, looks great. Yeah. Keep it going. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
maybe I've talked about we have two facilities at the moment. Um, the reasons, uh, that's maybe the most important question, um, yeah. why we chose the unmanned model. Um, I don't like to, to always talk about unmanned. I, I call it more an automated self-storage exactly. because it's not, <clears throat> it's not uh, because we are unmanned, there is no customer contact. So we have a lot of, a lot of chats and, 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 and touch points with our, with our clients. So it's, it's not really unmanned, um, but I'm going to tell, talk about that also. Um, why I chose it, um, I just wanted to be in a possibility to sell 24 seven, not just between office hours. Um, and I want to do it uh, in the right way at from the first moment. So from um, the first inquiry to move in. So what does that mean uh, with Storo? You can book your self-storage unit completely online. And I don't, if you don't want to see me, you don't have to see me uh, because you can move in after you sign the contract uh, online. Uh, we send you over an access code and a link to download an app. So that's, uh, that's a little bit the 24 seven uh, selling because I see a lot of, a lot of customers uh, we attract, they book, let us say uh, 11 in the evening and the next day at nine o'clock in the morning, they are already moving in without seeing me. So wow. we, we made a re really flawless bookings process. It's, 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 it's a high quality. Um, we are, uh, I'm sure of that. I think we did a good job with that. It was a tough job, but I think we managed it well. Nice. Um, maybe a second reason is, is that we, yeah, of course, saving on labor costs. I think that's one of the main reasons. Uh, I think you will hear, Jim. Uh, I don't know. That's huge. Oh, yeah, well, exactly. That's, that's money talks. <laughs> so that's kind of the first big sector we have you know to talk about is this the the labor class so especially if you're starting your, your storage and getting into it and just sitting down looking at your expenses that's that's a major major thing to, uh, to focus on so yeah go ahead yeah labor is uh, indeed a big uh, a big component uh, the labor cost is a, a big yeah uh, issue not a really an issue but something we thought of that i just want to attract more higher profiles in my firm. Um, so I prefer to allocate more budget on the right CFO, uh, on the marketing manager when it's time to expand because we are planning to expand, but we are now focusing on getting those two facilities to a, to a good occupancy. Um, so, uh, and also with our system we created, we have very few time needed for administration so i always say with one click um, on the button in the morning all my administration is done there is actually almost no manual interference uh, we all automated the payments the accounting payment accounting we we did we did it uh, the the invoicing um, i think everything that is possible to be automated we did that's that's fantastic no if you look at it that way, it's like whatever the task is, if, you, if, you, if there's a way to automate it, <laughs> do it. You know, there's no reason to sit there and kind of try to reinvent the wheel and make things harder for yourself than it really needs to be. The, the, the tools are there. And it sounds like you're utilizing <laughs> the tools that are there for you as, as much as possible. So you're, you guys are doing amazing. Yeah, keep going, man. This is great. Um, yeah, I try to maximize the, the, the digital processes uh, to say. Yep. Then also we have the opportunities with coming with electronic locks. Um, for me, there are uh, some reasons. Uh, in our system, we cre created actually a customer portal where the, where the client can find everything about invoicing, his rental agreement, uh, if he wants to stop the contract, he can do it all in the portal. He doesn't have to call us, phone us, mail us. He just can do it there if he wants. Um, but we also have a section in our uh, customer portal where you can grant access rights uh, to, um, yeah, to your friends, yeah. um, to your family. 
without the need you know, uh, to exchange uh, the locks. So you just say, I want to give my friend Jim access for uh, two days. Um, and then, yeah, you will get uh, a mail uh, with the instructions to download the app. And then you would have access for two days. So you just can share locks without uh, physically exchanging uh, keys. Um, that's cool. That's, that's, that's also great. very yeah interesting in a B2B context. Um, if you have uh, deliveries and we also do it in that way and our clients seem to love it. Oh, that, that's fantastic. So it's all done through, through the app, huh? Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, there is a lot done through the app. Of course, you have the big like uh, UPS. They don't uh, like to work with, with an application because not every driver can, can have an uh, application. Yeah. Um, so we have also a system. We have actually a dual system, one with the app, but also with access codes where you can also create extra access codes. So you can give it to UPS, for example, and then they enter the, uh, the keypad, uh, the, the building with the keypad on the outside, and they open the unit with the keypad uh, on the floor they have to be. Um, so it's not necessary to use the, the app. You can also work with, with access codes. So um, that's, yeah. that's what we see uh, B2B um, is mostly happening. Uh, they want... Uh, to work with access codes. That's why we, we saw that we, we had them and our system also works with the access codes. That's, that's why. Fine. That's fantastic. Yeah, cool. Let's keep going. What else you got here? I love the presentation, by the way. This is, this is awesome. You made, you made my day doing this. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, of course, what we also have with the electronic logs, that's an extra opportunity. If someone is due for a too long time, we just block the access from the office okay. and, and then he has to pay before he can uh, again come, come in. Sure. Um, we had that one time, uh, not, not really much, uh, but, but for the time we have it, it really works, uh, works out in that way. And then, yeah, also what we chose is to have a burglar alarm in each separate unit uh, that is controlled to, uh, to a control room with a 24 seven um, hotline. So um, if your neighbor wants to break in, in your self-storage unit, your self-storage neighbor uh, to say so, uh, the alarms would immediately, immediately go off and uh, we would, uh, yeah, we would get contacted. That's great. The police if necessary. It's all, it's all connected to each other. You guys have thought of everything. <laughs> um, I try to. Uh, I, I put a lot of work in it to to can tell to streamline those processes, but now it, the system works really nice, and I have uh, not a lot of work with the uh, yeah. I have a lot of work. We we do a lot of marketing actions and stuff, but my I don't really have to lose a lot of time with operational matters because the system does this work. Oh, yeah, I mean, you, you have that, you took the time and effort to put the systems and processes in place to make sure everything's working. Now you can focus on filling it up. Yeah, no expanding, that's marketing. That's the most important things because that gets you customers, of course. Exactly. All right, yeah, so some of the biggest challenges that you, you came across, this would be great. Go ahead. Most difficult thing for me, with, which I really crack my head on uh, sometimes, was to create uh, uh, online booking process specific for self-storage um, with integrating different partners going from the access control, self-storage software. Um, we also sign our contracts with, uh, yeah, it's for legal matters. We do it with a, a third party. So uh, the, the content of the contract cannot be discussed afterwards. Um, the payment providers to process the the first payments, the recurring payments afterwards. And we all had to do it almost off from scratch. Um, really? Yeah, because what I, uh, it, it, it was quite difficult because um, in my opinion, the, the self-storage business of the sector or the, the suppliers aren't really, yeah, used to, to build unmanned self-storage. So, yeah. And it's all it, maybe now I see a lot of new 
innovations coming up, but when we started to, to developing the website in 2019, um, it wasn't really the case. So we, we had to do a lot. I, have, I had to integrate six different uh, parties on my website and it was really, uh, uh, yeah, it was uh, not a, a hell of a job, but it, it, took, it took his time and it was sometimes really um, difficult to, to get everything I wanted. Because I I go uh, I try to work as detailed as possible. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, for me, if something doesn't work, I'm mostly not the most happy <laughs> happy person to meet at that moment. <laughs> Makes sense. I get it. But yeah, no, you, you did the you did the brain damage and got it all working. So like I said, now you yeah. can focus yeah. on, on the important stuff. So great. Yeah, I, yeah, I had a, of course a web developer uh, and some third good parties that, because they were all good good suppliers. Um, but yeah, it's it's to making the puzzle work that actually what it's uh, what was the most difficult thing, and I did the project management of that. Um, so yeah, I learned a lot uh, about IT because I didn't study uh, IT in uh, yeah ICT in uh, in my in in my uh, university degree. So it was a tough one. Um, and afterwards, of course, after developing the website. You have, uh, of course, to stabilize everything that your systems keep working. Um, and now in, in a six months time period, I got my systems up and running for 99.9%. .9%. So it's, I think it's quite fast, right. um, but it was, it was a lot of um, improvements afterwards and um, a lot of changes we made after the website was launched to yeah. to see that everything worked as as yeah as oh, as it great. should be. I, we, we just let you know we got about about ten minutes available left, so yeah, keep going here. Yeah. Right, sounds good. Yeah, um, and then uh, another big challenge was to start up during lockdown. Um, oh, yeah. So yeah, one day before we planned our big opening. Um, Oh, no. Yeah, the government said no, you can't. Uh, so it was a little bit of bummer, um, but okay. Now we had a lot. We had the first months were very difficult, not much inquiries. Um, yeah. But now we see it. It keeps rising every month, and it's getting better and better. So. Um, well, that's good. Good. Yeah. No. No one. No one could have timed that right when <laughs> when the lockdown no. hit. So it is what it is. But that's good news to hear that you're on the up and up right now so good and even despite corona we have we have a lot of uh, we have customers that are moved in and it was not zero it, it keep it kept rising every month so it's not that we that we didn't have uh we did have some revenue not maybe as much as i pro projected in my financial plan but we had something that's great so from from acquiry to moving all right this would be great thank you keep going here yeah. Actually, I can be very short about this. Um, so you just go to the website, you choose your unit, you make an account, you pay in line, sign a contract, and you have access. That's really short. Um, what it actually is about. Um, so, but of course, we also have, have have people who want to come around to to see if it's if it's if it fits. They don't know how big. Yeah, and sure. Yeah, you also. Um, and we have that. Um, we have a you can book like I booked uh, an appointment with you, Jim. I also have something on my website, which uh, the customers can book an appointment to go and visit uh, the site. Okay. So that's what I meant to say in the beginning. With it's unmanned, but it's not unpersonal. I think yeah. that's um, that's a, a big difference. Um, and the rest actually works a little bit like. Uh, like a web shop, like you buy a t-shirt online. Yeah. Um, uh, so in four steps, you have access to your units. So an average booking on our website takes, I think I, 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 I measured it, it takes five minutes um, from step one to, yeah, to uh, installing the app. That's fantastic. I've gone to a few places where I've gone in person and like secret shopped a unit to run a unit and 45 minutes later, I'm still sitting in the office. So yeah, 
that, that's the worst case nightmare scenario. So the fact that you could do it in under five minutes, online, automated, ease, ease of the customer, that's you know, fantastic. Good job, man. That's what I wanted also uh, say in the beginning with um, if someone wants to book a unit in the weekend, they can do it. We don't have to be there um, in physics uh, to sign the contracts, to, to make everything um, legally binding. It, it just can happen online. So Sweet. that's. Well, that's great. And again, this is something I really want to highlight, you know, as, as far as more people I'm talking to and the people that are watching this series is just having them understand that this, this can be providing a higher quality customer service. I mean, this is, that's the whole point. It's not just to try to make it, you know, uh, less payable for you and saving your expenses, but with the customer in mind, this can provide a better quality customer service. So it looks like you have a slide about that. So perfect. Yeah, I think uh, it has to be, to be possible to, to obtain at least the same level of customer service. I don't say it would maybe higher quality because uh, it, it all, it has its advantages and its disadvantages. So, so there is also a lot to in advantage for, for, a, for a physical manager on each, each side. Um, but yeah, it's a little bit a choice in, in what, you, what you find important. Um, what, what for me the most important is, is that if a customer wants to talk with us, that we are there for them. If he wants to come and see before he books his uni, he can come. If he wants to chat because he, have, he has a question, we will answer. I think that is the most important thing. Um, Yep. for a customer that these questions are answered in yeah in a quality way yeah you're, you're, you're there for the way that they want to rent you know whatever what's a, what's a good fit for them if they want to talk to someone cool if they don't want to talk to anybody just do it by themselves <laughs> yeah. got that option so you're providing them options like that so nice and if you don't want to see me that's uh you you don't have to see to see me or or uh, the person uh, next to me uh working it's just you you choose um and what i also think is that when they are moved in i don't know if they if they understand the system mm -hmm. i don't really see extra advantages in being there all the time yep yep exactly separate for walk-ins because i think uh, that's something we miss um of course, we will miss uh, some clients because we are not always there <clears throat> and we don't have uh, openings hours. So you, you have to make an appointment. So I think that that maybe uh, we lose some of them there, but. Oh, got it. All right, we've got, got a couple of minutes left here. So what else should you yeah. got here? I want to make sure, uh, make sure we get well, everything. Yeah, um, I'm also true. Uh, I'm almost true. Okay. So just for the maintenance part, we yeah. do a checkup and cleaning two times a week. Okay. Um, we check the cameras, of course, every day, the CCTV. Um, we have an internal checklist, which has to be filled in every week, two times, to see if there is any waste or the toilets clean, some, th some things like that. Is the radio still working? Just a basic checklist, sure. um, which is controlled by myself. Um, and then, yeah, I do regular um, mystery shopping in my own facilities to see if it actually is what is filled in. Um, and then, yeah, we have a weekend perm permanency, uh, of course, for issues because we work in an electronic environment. Yeah. It is possible that some things go wrong in the weekend. Um, there is a problem with the access control. You have to have someone who goes in and fix it. Well, yeah, and you have those those systems in place and those people in place. To, and they know what their duties are. Have it looks like you have a set schedule like that and a good checklist. So yeah, you're, you're checking all the boxes on that. So that's perfect. Yeah. So that's that's to to make sure we don't have too much problems in the weekend. So yep. Yep. we had some in the beginning with access control, but they are all figured out now and. Yeah, and at this moment, if there is an issue, I drive myself to the facility and help the customer if there is a problem. I... Okay, sweet. Owner gets his hands dirty. I like it. 
yeah i like i like too yeah that's uh, that's great all right what else you got that was it that was uh what i <laughs> what i prepared have, for this you session have, you had like a video on your home page yeah i will show you yeah let's, let's just check this out nice we'll do commentary since there's no sound but we get the idea so i'm just showing them how they can log on online for some side so, uh, up the sound oh, that's all good i'll commentate we can't read it anyway <laughs> it's, that's no it's really highly done that's that's a high quality video i like that show on the app perfect Seriously, I love those doors. I gotta say it one more time. Those are good looking. So I no, I love videos like this that kind of show the customer experience. A lot of times people are like, it's storage, who cares? It's we we rent air, it's not that big of a deal. No, I it's especially if you're automated, just kind of showing that beginning to end customer journey, customer experience. And yeah, you you got it in high def. That looks, <laughs> that looks awesome. Cool. That looks great. Was the video. Yeah, sorry for the sound. Uh, no, it's fine. I, I was, a, a commentary. I'll go over the top of it. It's, it's perfect. So no, yes. it, this is fantastic, man. Thanks for showing us that and giving us a little glimpse on your your operations and especially kind of getting the international flavor. That's that's even that's a bonus for for me. So thank you so much for taking doing that and being so professional and having a presentation like that. It was awesome. Yeah, I like to do things in a in a professional way, and I I like to be well prepared. Uh, so uh, oh, that was great. Well, thank you so much for for being a, a part of this. It's gonna be very valuable for people to see. Honestly, to kind of look at this, and they're gonna be realizing they gotta step up the game a little bit. So it's I think it's a good eye opener for everybody. So thanks so much for taking the time and being on this. Yeah, no problem. Thanks, uh, Jim. All right, we will talk to you soon. Take care. Yeah. Bye.